it is Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we're going to do some really easy coasters for Valentine's Day. As far as coasters go, this is about as easy as it gets, and all coaster projects don't have to be that involved. Now you can cut out your own circles, or you can buy them pretty inexpensively at the craft store. And these are just cork rounds. And I found this stencil for 64 cents on clearance. And today we're just going to use this heart. You don't have to stick with just traditional Valentine's Day colors to do these. Now I have my stencil brush. Got my stencil, which I want to center. And you can put a little like spray adhesive on the back if you wanted to. And we are going to start out with pink. You don't really need a ton of paint on your brush. I'm going to get rid of quite a bit of it. Hope I have it centered. If not, you'll know it's handmade. And then you just start to stencil. Okay, when you think you have it, leave your two fingers there and pick it up and check. You might want a little bit more, but you don't want it to shift because then it's going to kind of mess up your image. Now, cork can be pretty absorbent, so you might want to go over it more than one time. There we go. We have a cute pink heart on our coaster. This is cute, but I like to add little dots to things. So I am just gonna take the end of a skewer stick and I've dipped it into my paint. And I'm just staying with the same color, but you could certainly vary it. And there's one coaster down. And these are good for Valentine's Day. Um, they're also good for maybe anniversaries or for your wedding. You can do the wedding colors on these coasters and they could be little take-homes. So now I'm going to repeat the process with some other colors. And there's coaster number two. So now you have all four of these, which are fun. The gold is going to obviously be the most subtle. They dry quick. They look great. Now I'm going to show you another fun technique if you want to switch it up a little bit. Now you could always put like the wedding date um, or your names or whatever on the back if you are using these for a wedding coaster. But I'm going to do a fun technique on the back. And I'm going to start with the red. Then I'm going to have, take some gold and I'm going to go on the inside of it. And then I'll take a little bit more red and kind of go in the middle again. And then you can take it off and you have a two-toned coaster. Then you can alternate the colors. And there's that one. So that's fun too. And I'm going to do, I think, the red and the silver on the back of another one because those will have a little bit more contrast. And now you can see that's a fun way to incorporate two colors into it, which again would be perfect for incorporating your wedding colors. So those are a couple ways to do it. You can stay very simple and stay with one color and they look really cute. Or you can go with the two colors like this. And remember the metallics are always fun too. So just think Valentine's Day wedding anniversary or just have around the house. I hope you guys like the Valentine's Day coasters and I hope you give them a try. We are going to incorporate that same stencil into next week's Valentine's Day coaster, and it is going to be a resin version, so you'll have to come back and check out how that looks. I will definitely see you guys next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.